Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's the G to the U to the R to the U. Yo, welcome to the channel. So today I want to talk about one of the most underrated or not talked about key compliments components of the Seattle Seahawks and I'm really excited about this season man uh, and, and nobody ever mentioned this guy's name and I'm not talking about a player you know what I'm saying I'm not talking about Pete Carroll I'm not talking about any names like that I'm really talking about offensive coordinator Shane Waldron man I think this dude is one of the bright minds in the whole entire NFL I love I love Shane um, Waldron as far as what he has done and he's going to his third season with the Seahawks man like and, and we're all anticipating a great offense like you never really notice this type of stuff with a Pete Carroll team and when you talk about how dynamic the offense is but this is a very 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 outstanding play caller man you know I just love the way he execute the run and the pass as far as his, his, his run schemes you know how he utilized the three tight end personnel last season which was dominant and also as far as the receiving core um, the Seahawks are one of the few teams that had two receivers that's over a thousand yards in receiving um, as far as DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett and that's all due to the fact of you know Sean Wal um, Shane Waldron's innovative mindset man you know we think about a lot of the Sean McVay disciples but nobody ever mentioned Shane Waldron and I think that's going to change going into this year because I'm forecasting the Seahawks to have an outstanding offensive unit honestly i think the offensive unit might be the best unit in the whole entire um roster the whole entire unit between the defense and we know p carroll is a dominant guy so when you think about seattle you normally think about the defense but moving the last couple seasons what you really notice the defense have been subpar but the offenses really took that next step man honestly took that next step let's just look just, just let's just imagine what shane Waldron had done to a guy like a geno smith a guy that everybody wrote off but he didn't write back. Yes, you know what I'm saying. Geno Smith, everybody wrote off and he didn't write back, man. Just let me tell you what Sh um, Shane Waldron did to this guy, man. You know what I'm saying? Geno Smith last year, man, he finished number one in the NFL as far as completion percentage, dog. I mean, Geno Smith led the whole entire NFL as far as completion percentage, man. He was top 10 in, in as far as in other categories. He finished in the top five in touchdown passes with 30. Geno Smith was top five in NFL passing TDs last year, man. Are y'all telling me Shane Waldron had nothing to do with that, bro? This dude has never accomplished anything to that extent, dog. This dude had a passing rating of over 100. 100.9 to be exact passing rating, which is the franchise record. Guys like Russell Wilson, who's probably the best franchise quarterback, didn't even have that type of completion rec um, percentage. My man got over 4,000 yard passing, which was number one in Seahawks um, history. I'm talking about D Geno Smith was named AP uh, um, Combat Player of the Year, not because of Geno Smith's ability. We all know that. It's also because of the coaching. And we failing to realize that. And I think it's time the world got to know about um, Shane, dog. You know what I'm saying? You have Geno Smith that had a top five season, a top 10 quarterback rankings in the whole entire league. You got two wide receivers that went over a thousand yard receiving. Over a thousand yard in DK and Tyler Lockett. And I'm just telling you, and then also you have a running back, a rookie running back that had over a thousand yard rushing. I mean, that is freaking offensive plethora of offensive weapons right there and it seemed like when i watched the seahawks man shane waldron knows how to utilize each player's strength i'm talking about um the young running back last year man he missed a few games but he came back in fact i even remember when we shot penny was dominating the league before he got hurt because of shane waldron's offense dog so I know we're going to talk a lot about Pete Carroll and the defense. We're going to talk about Tyreek Woolen. And we're going to talk about guys like that. But going to this season, I think the success of the Seahawks is going to be predicated on the offense. I think um, Shane Waldron is going to be one of the highly, highly candidate. I know you hear about the Ben Johnsons over there in, uh, in Detroit. Other guys like that. But for some reason, the national media... I have not heard or talked about Shane Waldron. And this is what I do. That's what I do. I talk about guys like that, man. You know what I'm saying? I think this guy's definitely going to get interviews for head coaching job. Because the only thing you see every year since he's been the OC 
of the Seahawks offense, you see improvement. You see improvement. You see dynamic plays. You see offensive. Uh, you see them moving the ball. Not like the traditional Russell Wilson's offense. Run, 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 run. Play action, deep shot. Now nah, you actually see innovative innovations. You see run scheme. You see pass scheme. And now with the addition of the first round draft pick, Jackson. You know what I'm saying? From Ohio State. Man, the sky's the limit for this offense, bro. I'm predicting the same thing. I'm predicting another leap from Geno Smith because now he's more comfortable with what Shane is trying to do. He could put more on the playbook. Now, I could see three receivers. Yes, I could see three receivers getting over a thousand yards. Three receivers getting over a thousand yards with uh, with Teak, um, with, with Tyler, with DK, and with Jackson. And don't forget, I, I, I tied in set. And also, don't forget with the running backs. Man, I'm telling y'all, man, y'all are sleeping. All y'all might be sleeping on, on Shane Waldrum. I believe he's one of the smart IQ, smart offensive mind, offensive corners in the whole entire NFL. And I just want to talk about it, man. Because I know y'all, the mainstream media, who, who might not know, but I know because it's what I do, man. I'm the G to the U to the R to the U. When it comes to this football shit, y'all know what I do. I study this shit. I eat this shit. I sleep this shit. I analyze this shit. You know what I'm saying? So if this is your first time in my content, y'all go ahead and man, hit that subscribe button. We gonna be doing, just letting y'all know, I'm gonna be doing live stream of every Seahawks game because this is what we do out here, man. We all about that C Hawk. C Hawk. Y'all know who this is, man. I'm the G to the U to the R to the U. And y'all don't remember and don't forget that. Hit that subscribe button, man, and I am out.